it was, yeah, there was a lot of time. Uh, I just couldn't get to school at all. Over a year ago, my wife started going downhill, getting very forgetful and uh, just generally weak. Uh, things were so different from, she was always on the go. Uh, that was in the April and come the September, it was that bad. Uh, we were in the doctors and then all sorts of questions asked and we were sent to see specialists and they were ruling this, that and the other out and two doctors then did all their research on it and diagnosed her with ME. Once that had happened, uh, we went home like, you know, what's ME? We, we knew we'd heard about it. Um, I was thinking back 20, 30 years ago when it was yuppie flu and knew nothing about it. Um, she was very worried, you know, um, and I said, look, we'll just have to learn as we go along, take it as it comes and deal with it. My son was diagnosed. Um, he took ME at the age of 10 and a half. He was bedbound by the age of 12 and he was bedbound actually for four and a half years with no help from the medics. There was nothing there for us. He was basically diagnosed and we were left to get on with it. Do you feel that the medical prof profession take the, the condition seriously? No, I don't think they're taking it seriously. I don't think, unless you're affected with it, they don't know about it. But we are extremely active lobby group as well and we work with Stormont and all the politicians and stuff and we are working really closely now with the patient plan council so we are pr hoping to have workshops coming up in the near future. I think that there is a lack of knowledge 